Hi, this video will just show you a couple tips to help you uh, troubleshoot Cricut Design Space for Desktop. So now the desktop version is the only version, and this is for Windows 10. Um, this is not applicable to Mac, although the first a couple of the steps we do um, might help, but uh, there's a couple steps and I will, I'll note them if you're a Mac user as I'm going through to let you know what's not the same. So here's Cricut Design Space, and I've been seeing um, little problems here and there as all desktop apps will have. And um, there's a couple troubleshooting tips that they recommend, and I'm just putting them all into one video. So if you load it and there's some things that are blank, I mean, obviously mine's working right now. Um, but if you're having trouble, one simple thing you, thing you can try is under the view menu and force reload. And this is supposed to reload the app. So technically, I mean, I'm not going to get into the technical because I don't know all the background, um, but this is something they have you do. Um, that'll use work for Mac users as well. It's the same same steps and then if for some reason you're having trouble still another simple thing is to just sign out of the app and re-sign in um, and close and reopen obviously so so to sign out you just go ahead and click on this little menu bar here and you can click sign out and then you just go ahead and hit sign in and you might want to close it and reopen in between steps. So I'm not going to go through the signing in. So now that I'm re-signed in, um, one of the other things are it's to check your internet connection. Just make sure you have internet. I mean, I, I should have started that at the beginning because this does require an, an internet connection. There is an offline version, um, but that does require you to uh, download the images to your computer prior to going offline and I'm not going to cover that in this video. Now number three is a thing that they've been advising people to do so and I went through the steps and I found a slightly different way to do it. Uh, I mean I'll show you the manual way and then I'll show you the quicker way so I'm going to close out of this. So a lot of people are getting like blank windows they don't open up and it doesn't happen to everybody but when it does there's something you can do called clearing the application cache. So you want to go ahead and click on your file explorer, which is down here, and there should be a link on your bottom taskbar by default on every Windows 10 device. You can always search for file explorer here for some reason if you can't find your link down here, because you may have customized your taskbar. And then go to the C drive, which is typically where you're going to find this and then go to users and then you want to find your user profile which that's mine and then double click on Cricut Design Space and then local data and then in here you can delete everything and then close out so if we delete everything close out the other thing I noticed too I just went up one level. I wouldn't touch any of this, but what I noticed in, um, under update, it has all my previous updates. So I started installing it when it was beta, so I can safely delete all the other ones. So I just got 5.619, but this is not a step they talk about, but it's just a clear out so I don't have this unnecessary information on my, on my computer. So I'm going to close that. And then when you relaunch it, it should have you still logged in because one of those folders is also contains information about, um, I didn't double click, contains your login information. So that's why you don't want to touch the other folders. So there it opens up again. Now the quick way of doing that rather than navigating all through their file manager is to click on, right click on your Windows icon down here, click on left click on run and then you want to type in percentage sign user profile percentage sign and then you can hit OK after you do that or, or enter so what it'll do is bring you I'm just going to change the view to details 
it'll bring me to the same spot and then local data and then these just showed up because I just launched it after I cleared the application cache. So that's the third way and that and the last is just to uninstall and reinstall uh, design space. So to uninstall it you go to settings here it showed up another window let me pull it up here and then apps uninstall and then you can sort by name or you can search for design so there's design space I have another one installed I'm gonna uninstall that one thing you'll notice and I'm, I'm leaving this in here I noticed this earlier this is the old version this is the web-based version so the plugin was still installed so if you have that you might want to um, uninstall that and the way I can tell is the icon here you see the Cricut design space obviously I can see the version and what date it was installed so I know that's the recent one um, but down here uh, as far as the one that says 731 2019 I know that's really old so I can uninstall that so what you would do is uninstall and then once you uninstall you would close out of there you go through all the windows and then to reinstall it you would go to design.cricket.com and then enter you don't have to put the pound launcher it'll automatically go to here and then you'll have the ability to download so right now you want to use the design space for desktop because they decommissioned the design space web version so that's a couple things that I found that help and have been helping people I hope somebody uh, finds this helpful if you uh, found this helpful please give me a little thumbs up down there and or subscribe to our channel and I thank you so much for watching